Hello guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. All depends on your location at this time of the day. Um, we are still on the sixth day in the month of September. It's a beautiful Monday afternoon. Um, I quickly want to update you on this. You know, I am always saying it the way I see it. And you can see on your screen, gunman Abdul Kasina, deputy speaker's sister, and she is also a bride to be. Um, without wasting much of your time, uh, please, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. My existing subscribers, you guys have been wonderful. Um, your contribution, your shares, your comments, I appreciate a lot. And as you keep supporting me, whatever you do, God will also uh, support you. So um, let me dive down to the details of this and then um, allow you to put in your contribution on the comment section below. Remember earlier on, I gave you guys the update where Gumi, um, the popular cleric, okay, that have access to bandit in the forest, uh, said bandit are not going anywhere. That military force with the bandit will only worsen the security challenges. That was what Gumi said. So, what is the job of the military now with this current in uh, insecurity? That military engaging people the people causing the insecurity, that if the military engage them, that it will worsen the insecurity. I mean, I am not understanding anymore. I mean, as in, does it really make sense? Somebody coming out publicly to say this. Trust me, nothing will happen. But let the common man, um, you know, say something like this. Let the common man or uh, outside um, them, them, okay? say something like this, the person will be invited. Of course, the person will be invited, we already know. But Gumi said that military uh, invasion, military action on bandits will worsen the, the issue. Now, what happened to the um, Tucano aircraft that was a um, few days ago? Nigerian government purchased um, a military Tucano um, um, aircraft to bombard these bandit and terrorists. So what happened to the money being spent? Is it a waste or whatsoever? That is by the way, Sha. Okay, like I said, gunmen have abducted as Mao Tafoki, younger sister, uh, younger sister to the deputy speaker of Katsina House of Assembly. Okay, that is um, Dahatu Tafoki. So Tafoki, who confirmed the incident, said the gunman stormed his hometown, okay, in the Faskari local government area of the state around 1 a.m. yesterday, Sunday, and abducted his about to wed sister. The gunmen were said to have headed for the deputy speaker's family compound. Immediately, they arrived at the village where they initially abducted two ladies. So immediately they arrived at the village. It means all of them, just like one Dume said, that it's been seven years, five years, most of them that are staying in Abuja there, most of them have not visited their villages for the past years. It's not a joke. Ndume said it. All of them, most of them, they are finding Abuja as a safe heaven. And these people, they are now... Recently, they, um, was it yesterday, they have abducted um, the wife of uh, one pastor like that in Abuja Day. And they are gaining access. They, have, uh, they abducted the wife and two daughters. So very soon, who knows, Abuja may not be a safe haven for this man anymore. And most of them, they don't have access to their village. It's been a while they don't go to villages anymore because of this insecurity. You are representing a constituency but you don't even go there to visit your people. Does it make sense? Now, this is the same thing Dino Milaye in Ed Assembly. We know Dino Milaye. This is the same thing he was talking about, that there will come a time, those politicians that are keeping mute, not as if just because of political party interest, not as if they don't know the truth. Of course, they know. They know the truth. But they are keeping mute because of political interest. Now, it is befalling on them. Let me see how long they will continue keeping mute because of political interest. Of course, let me see how they will keep mute because of this political interest. So according to Tafoki, 
He said the government are yet to contact the family and make any demand. That is just it. I quickly want to update you. I don't have anything much to contribute here, okay? But it's just that these people, remember the um, two states, Adamawa and um, Izid Nasarawa state has suspended school activity over this abduction and insecurity. They have shut down school in their state till further notice. I think um, Kaduna state have um, suspended um, moving of cattle from one state to another and some markets there. That's Kaduna, okay? So now there are things, I don't know what to say again, like serious. I don't know what else to say. So these people, let me see how long they will keep keeping mute without saying anything, without voicing out. They just entered the village and these people with a the rumor, they don't come. They had to strike. Yes, they have to strike. That is, by the way, I quickly want to update you. Let me know what you think. See you guys in another video.